we'll keep this pretty informal today, so we'll just go ahead and ask your questions. Uh, Rob has a microphone. If you'd uh, say your name and affiliation before your question, uh, that would be helpful. And uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, you guys, any questions? Hi, uh, Jay Stickney, Denver Radio. Um, Coach, last week uh, against uh, North Dakota, you guys uh, come out, you lose four to nothing in the final game. But first two games, overtime and double overtime. Uh, is this team starting to feel a little bit more fresh after that tough three games in a row that you had last weekend? Well, I, there's no question that uh, it was a, a last. Uh, Three, three, playing three overtimes in a row like we did uh, from, the, from the playoff round to the uh, final five was uh, a little bit more taxing. Uh, but you know, we've had uh, rest Monday and Tuesday, uh, light skate today. So, yeah, I think we're, we are uh, back where we want to be and, and uh, looking forward to tomorrow's afternoon's game. Guys, Eric Bacher, ESPN. Uh, your thoughts on uh, making it to the regional and what it means to you guys as co-captains of a team that's uh, gone through a lot of adversity this season? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's definitely an honor to be here. You know, our backs were against the wall, even to make the tournament. Uh, you know, we lost the first game of our playoff series, had to win two in a row uh, to even make it, then showed up last week and had a pretty good weekend. So, you know, to make it this far, there's not too many teams who do it, so we're really proud to get to this point, but want to keep moving forward. Yeah, I think, uh, I mean, he pretty much covered it, but I don't think that kind of from the beginning of the year we were never really satisfied just being in the tournament. We're obviously happy to be here and have come a long way since Christmas, but I think we're all looking forward to tomorrow's game. George? Question for everybody. George Simple, Detroit Free Press. Just a question for all three. Uh, what do you think about the Fair State? What have you seen on film of them, and uh, who concerns you most? The CCHA was the power conference this year. Certainly, just by putting five teams into the national tournament, you can tell that. Be able to win uh, that conference uh, is a real a prestigious honor. Um, Ferris is a really good team. They're really good. Uh, they're fast. Um, I don't know if I've seen any team uh, that we've watched on tape in our league or any of the non-conference games that we've played. Uh, any team that plays defensively and is committed to playing as hard defensively as, as the Bulldogs do. Uh, it's tough to get pucks to the net on them. It's tough to get the second chance opportunities. And they have three or four guys who can, if you give them an opportunity, they're going to counter on you and, and make you pay. Uh, they're a really well-balanced team. Uh, certainly, you know, we've been through it before where we've been uh, eliminated in the first round of the playoffs and come back into the national tournament and played well. So uh, that could be, I mean, uh, as obvious as, I shouldn't say that, as difficult as it was for, I think, Ferris to uh, not move on to their their uh, uh, postseason tournament, uh, it might be an advantage for them because it gives them extra motivation. They're a little bit more rested, and, and those are all good things. But uh, you know, this is a this is a really good Bulldog team, and, and uh, uh, we've got our we've got our real challenge ahead of us. There's no question about that, guys. True. Yeah, I mean, certainly any team that wins their uh, regular season league championship is very good. Like Coach just said, we know they play very um, well defensively. They have good goaltending, and we're looking forward to the game. Yeah, I think they covered everything. Hey, it's, uh, Marty Slachter, Pioneer Newspaper, Big Rapids. And certainly on paper, it looks like uh, your power play versus uh, Ferris State's penalty kill is going to be one of the key matchups here. Can you talk about what you need to do to be successful against that with an advantage? Well, as I was saying before, the, uh, it, it's really tough to be able to get pucks through to their goaltender. Uh, they, they, uh, they, they really are fully committed to blocking shots. Um, and even if you gain good possession and you have an opportunity to get the puck to the net, uh, especially from the perimeter, it's tough to get it there um, because they've got so many bodies that are willing to uh, block pucks. They, they collapse. Um, they're not going to give you a lot of good looks. Uh, they play very disciplined defensively on their penalty kill. Uh, it's going to be it's going to be a challenge for us. Uh, certainly, the, you know we have our, our success in the power play has been pretty good over the course of the season. Um, recently, it hasn't been very good. You know, 
know, we uh, in the, you know, it, it helped us win the one goal that we scored on our power play. Uh, helped us win that series against Wisconsin two weekends ago. Uh, our shorthanded group did a real good job against Wisconsin to keep them off the board. But uh, you know, our power play, uh, our special teams uh, weren't as effective uh, in the final five. And uh, you know, at this time of year, if you can get your power play to score one goal a game. You've got a real advantage. That's going to be tough to do um, against uh, Ferris State, but uh, we're going to give it our best shot. Zach Helfan from the Michigan Daily. Uh, Drew, what, what has it meant for you this year to be able to play with Nick? This year has been awesome. Um, I've been with Nick this year. I've got to spend some time playing on the power play with him, so I've definitely, uh, even though he was on the team my freshman year, I've kind of spent a little more time with him this year. It's been a great experience. Uh, he's one of my best friends, and I'm looking forward to the rest of the year. Uh, for Coach, can we just get an update on the injuries and um, for the guys? Just can you talk about how uh, how tough it's been to uh, to stay motivated, and to be leaders, and and uh, with all the injuries that you guys have had to deal with over the course of the season? We'll start with Coach. The um, we're gonna have some game time decisions as far as who's in the lineup and who's not. Uh, but those guys who are in the lineup are going to be ready to go. And uh, uh, so that, that's all I can tell you right now. Yeah, I don't, I don't think injuries ever really take away from motivation. Kind of the motivation's been the same all year, regardless of who's in the lineup. And as a player, I mean, you're really only focused on winning the game. And I think that whether those guys are ready to go or not, who's ever on the ice will be ready to play. Yeah, I mean, some guys who haven't played necessarily a huge role um, are going to get a good shot to come in and play. So those guys are looking forward to it, especially on the stage. So, I mean, we'll be ready to go. Coach, can you talk about your relationship with uh, Coach Daniels and through the years and uh, kind of that relationship, both uh, being you know, pretty long-term uh, coaches in uh, NCAA? Uh, Bobby and I have known each other uh, for many years, uh, as you mentioned. He is a, I think he's one of the most well-liked uh, coaches in the country. Um, certainly, I think he's gained tremendous respect over the years from what he's been able to do um, with the Ferris program and, and continually have them uh, competitive in the, in, the, in the CCHA and, and nationally. Um, I think uh, his support staff, especially Drew Famulak, who's, who has uh, won the assistant, uh, the Terry Flanagan, award this year, uh, very richly deserving. I mean, they, they've done a tremendous job, and they continue to do it every year. Um, in the CCHA, they're, they're probably considered one of the have-nots. You, know, uh, you know, they don't have the largest budget in the world. They don't have the largest arena in the league. Uh, a lot of things that uh, um, perhaps people would consider a disadvantage, but, uh, you know, if they don't have the best of everything, they make the best of everything they have. And to me, that is a sign of great coaching uh, uh, throughout the years. Uh, Bobby is, uh, um, as I said, he's probably one of the most well-liked and well-respected guys, not only because of what he's done, but because of his personality. He's, as those of you who know him, he's got a great sense of humor, a great wit, and uh, he's fun to be with, uh, you know, off the ice. Uh, playing against him is really tough because he's a smart guy. And he knows how to make adjustments on the fly. He's got his team playing extremely well, and, and uh, uh, you know it's it's one of those things where it's going to be a real challenge for any team, including us, to play him uh, tomorrow. Coach, you talked a little bit of, about overtime games, and this is for all three of you um, playing. I think eleven overtime games this year. What does that experience in close games do for you? Come to work the time. Let's start with the players this time. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we've been there so many times, especially in huge uh, situations. So, you know, guys just know that, you know, we can get the job done and we stay pretty relaxed, really, um, just because we've been there so much. So, uh, you know, I think that if it comes to that point, we'll be, uh, you know, a competent bunch that we can get the job done. Yeah. I mean, I think those experiences are really going to help us, um, especially kind of like Dusty said with the timing of those games. We had overtime games, um, like in the Wisconsin series, where we knew if we lost, we were done. So 
with a one and done, kind of it's the same format as the national tournament, so I definitely think that's something that'll help us. You think the head coach? I think there's nothing more evident to me as to how we play in overtime as, as that game against Duluth last Friday night. Uh, perhaps our best hockey of that evening or that afternoon was once we got to overtime. Um, and so as Bobby Daniels and I were talking about joking uh, uh, before we went on the ice, perhaps we should just uh, appeal for this game to start in overtime and uh, let the best team win at that point. Any other questions, guys? All right, we're all set.